Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, keep liking, keep sharing, keep commenting. You guys are the best. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You're doing the most. We're almost reaching 21,000 soon. And I'm really, really excited. All thanks goes to you guys because we wouldn't be here without all your support. Please encourage me by giving me stuff to react to. Uh, you can just name anything down below or drop us a link and we'll be more than glad to do it or I'll do it and yeah Hope you're having fun having uh, watching our content. So today I'm going to be reacting to Dr. Zakina X Peach Oxford University very good one part four So without wasting time, let's get into the video Irrespective of the differences one common factor amongst all human beings of the world is that all want peace. According to me, peace is the only solution for the problems of humanity. I said at the starting of my talk, Islam is derived from the Arabic word salam, which means peace. And this word salam is mentioned in the Quran no less than 43 times. And along with its derivatives, it's mentioned no less than 143 times. Salam, peace, is mentioned in the Quran no less than 143 times. And I started my talk by greeting all of you, Assalamu Alaikum, which means peace be on all of you. The Quran says in Surah Yasin, chapter number 36, verse number 58, that peace is a salutation from the Lord who is the most merciful. One of the attributes of Almighty God is Assalam, the source of peace. Quran says in Surah Al-Hashar, chapter 59, Verse number 23, it refers to Allah, Almighty God, as a salam, the source of peace. Quran says in Surah Maida, chapter 5, verse number 16, that Almighty God guides those people who come towards Him, towards peace and safety, and takes them out of darkness into light. That's the reason. Every chapter of the glorious Quran, there are 114 chapters in the Quran, every chapter except 9, starts with the beautiful formula, Bismillah rahman rahim In the name of Allah, Almighty God, the most merciful, the most gracious. According to me, peace is the only solution for humanity. And I am a person who spreads peace. My mission is to spread peace. And as many may be aware, that I started a global peace TV network about five years before in January 2006. In January 2006, I launched the Peace TV in English. Two and a half years later in 2008, Peace TV Urdu. And inshallah, in the next couple of months, in April 2011, we will launch the Peace TV Bangla. Today, Peace TV English is the largest watched Islamic satellite channel in the world. It has a viewership of more than 100 million, out of which more than 25% are non-Muslim. Even if I'm able to convince one human being, irrespective whether he's a Muslim or non-Muslim, and prevent him from killing one innocent human being, I feel I would have saved the whole of humankind. Peace is the only solution. My message is only of peace. My mission is to spread peace. I would like to end my talk with the quotation of Dr. Adam Pearson. Dr. Adam Pearson said, people worry that one day nuclear weaponry will fall in the hands of the Arabs, they fail to realize that the Islamic bomb, the bomb of peace, has already been dropped. It fell the day Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was born. Waakhru dawan, alhamdulillah, rabbil alamin. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I will now like to ask some of you to signal your intention to ask questions to Dr. Nike. The way in which we're going to do this is if you will signal your intention to me, we will then try and go up to the microphone on the podium in groups of five. Please stand at the podium, deliver your question, and wait at the podium until you have received your answer. Then return to your seat. So for the first five, can I get Ms. Goldberg, Mr. Bella, please stand. We'll start off with those three queuing. And signal your intention and add to the queue after they come down. Dr. Knight, thank you very much for your talk. 
The question I have is you profess to be a man of peace. You've spoken very eloquently about the idea of peace and Islam. Peace is written in front of your microphone as you stand there. And I agree with you in, in many senses. But my question is why then is your message still seen as so controversial? Why are there figures within the Islamic world, why are there fellow Islamic clerics who see your message and still believe that you are wrong? Why, I mean, you, you've claimed that the Home Secretary has banned you from this country because of a, a sort of media conspiracy. But why is there a broader sense of discontent with your message? The brother asked a very good question, that why if I'm a man of peace and I speak about peace, some people are against me, some Muslims, some non-Muslims, the Home Secretary. Brother, you have to understand that any person who's popular, there are bound to be people who are against him, irrespective whether the popular person is doing good work or bad work. And the best example I can give you, that today, according to Michael H. Hart, he wrote a book saying, the 100 most influential people in the world history. Though he's a Christian, he put number one most influential human being as Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Today, do you know, Though Muslims consider him to be the most important and the most influential person in history, there are many non-Muslims who think the same. But today, if we analyze the maximum books written against any human being on the face of the earth, it is Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The second person he named in his list was Isaac Newton. But because he's not a common man for common human being, he's a scientist. The third person on his list was Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If we analyze today, the second person in human history who has maximum books written against him, it is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Based on this argument, do I have to agree that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, they were not good? What we have to realize when a person gets popular, there are bound to be people against him. And according to the Home Department of UK, when I had come in the year 2009, I was informed by reliable sources that according to the Home Department of UK, the most popular Islamic satellite channel in the world is Peace TV, and the most watched Islamic satellite channel in UK is also Peace TV. Not only is it watched by Muslims, but even watched by non-Muslims. The same report said that the most popular Islamic speaker in the world is Dr. Zakir Naik, and the most popular Islamic speaker in UK is also Dr. Naik. That's the reason the Home Department was requesting me that can I reach out to those Muslims which the UK government cannot. But now because of the change of government, what I feel, it was more of a political move rather than a legal move. And as maybe they wanted someone popular so that they could pass the message that we are tough against Muslims. And that's the reason what we feel that we have more faith in the judicial system rather than the political system. I think it was mainly because of popularity and it was mainly a political move rather than a legal move. And inshallah, God willing, we feel that this exclusion order would be reversed by the Court of Appeal, hopefully. Thank you. Milias uh, Palayo is my name. I'm a, I'm a lawyer, a historian, and also a theologian. You gave a very excellent exposition of uh, the Quran and Islam, but uh, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam are all Abrahamic faiths. A Jew could have said the same thing, or there's almost the same things if you said, by quoting uh, the Quran. Sorry, it's called quoting the the Torah and the Talmud, a Christian could have said almost everything you said by quoting both the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I do not know whether we should be trying to say one religion is superior or more truthful than another. And if we do go down that line, what does that lead to? Uh, that's what led to the Crusades, etc. You mentioned about justice and peace. Of course, the Christian Bible mentions more. Than more. Um, very interesting video. I feel like these Oxford videos actually overlap. But I enjoyed listening to what his finishing closing speech was and the way he answered the first question. Yes, peace. We need peace. But then, 
and how do we achieve that peace first of all we have to learn to stop fearing the unknown the reason as to why we have so much going on in the world is we fear the unknown the reason why we hate other cultures other people even things we've never experienced actually is because we fear them we fear if we let these people into our tribe though scatter everything though destroy everything you understand and this fear has been passed on from generation to de generation to generation and if we eliminate fear i feel like we're going to be more open to this thing of peace well yes of course there's people that actually want peace are working towards peace and are fighting for peace and they're achieving it to some certain extent but on a global view, I don't know how you can tackle that because it's insane. You're always going to choose your people over other people. You're always going to put your interest over other people. So it's 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 a tricky one. It's going to take a lot, a lot, a lot for us to actually get to the place where we want to get. And I love the answer as to why um, the first person, the question, the I love the answer to the first question talking about why others will disagree with the message he preaches and sometimes when you're doing something right in life people come for you different forces attack you it can be your own people it can be people outside your people it can be people that you just least expect to attack you that attack you and i love his answer actually and um we just have to be careful don't let someone hating on you Put you down don't let someone hating on you actually stop you from what you're doing if you're doing something right you know you're doing something right you're not doing anything funny continue doing it don't stop for anyone keep going and um this this is advice i actually got myself from someone in the comment section because they realized that some people were hating on the videos and they just said then you're doing something right and i was like you know what i said thank you in my heart so thank you to the person that commented that thank you for encouraging me to continue doing the reactions that was very very nice of you so yeah let me know if you want me to react to something drop the name or the link down below and i'll be more than glad to react to it make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video